This is a homage beat. YouTube, what's poppin'? Y'all, it's your boy, D-Hyde. Just wanna welcome you guys back to the channel. Hope everybody's having a wonderful, blessed day, man. Now, in today's video, I just wanted to do a quick review on the bevel trimmers, all right? I was fortunate enough to get my hands on these bad boys and um, give you guys a quick review and my thoughts on this trimmer. Now, today, what I'll be doing is I'll be shaping up the whole beard just with those trimmers, all right? And shaving the head down. Just to see what type of results I get uh, with those trimmers and then also comparing them with these bad boys. But like I said, I'm gonna compare the two at the end of the video and um, just give the bevel a try to see how well it uh, shapes the beard up and um, how well it does to cutting down and shaving down my head today. Now the first thing I wanna show you guys is what comes inside the box. We've got the beautiful bevel trimmers. Okay, put a logo on it. And then next we got this little book that shows you all the instructions on how to oil it, um, directions and things like that. Got a little bevel bag. Got the cord, all right, for charging. It's a pretty long cord. As you guys can see, it's pretty long. So that was everything inside the box. Now let's break down some of the things that um, that this clipper can do, okay? Um, with a full charge, they said that this clipper can get four hours um, of usage, okay? So um, that's pretty good. Four hours is a, is a really good long time to, uh, to cut with. With the blade right here, you can pop this off, all right? All you gotta do is press in and that pops out, all right? And um, another cool thing is that with this little dial right here, you can adjust the closeness of the blade. For example, if you you know, if you have like some other trimmers, like the uh, the, uh, the Andes, and you want to zero gap them, you have to take them apart with a screwdriver, um, use a little a little tool to have the blades come closer together. That way you can zero gap it and get a sharper cut. With this, all you have to do is just take this little dial and turn it, and it, what it would do is it'll drop this blade, the back blade down a little more. That way you won't get such a sharp cut. Let's say if you, you know, you're cutting your child or you have somebody with, with sensitive skin, um, you can drop that down pretty, pretty low. All right, if you guys can see that. And then if you want a sharper cut, of course, you can turn the dial again and bring the blade all the way up to, to its closest. And this will definitely give you a sharper cut. And the cool part about this too, you can just snap this right back on, put it there and just snap it back on and you're good to go. The blades has been adjusted and um, you know, you can get the cutting. All right, so those are some of the cool things um, with using this, this trimmer right here. But the biggest test is gonna see how well these cut, all right? And that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna go ahead and line up the beard, um, shave down the head with these and just see if I can get this bad boy looking tight and right just with using the bevel trimmers, all right? So let me go ahead and shape this bad boy up, get everything looking tight and right, man. And um, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna give you guys my full breakdown and my thoughts on these trimmers. And then also compare them to these bad boys. All right, these GTXs right here. All right, so you guys stick around and let's get into it. Before I get started, well, they said uh, they recommend two drops of oil. All right, the oil that they give you on the blade. This side, mustache, now it's time to hit this side and see how well it comes out. Alright guys, so everything is done. 
as you guys can see, both sides, shave the head down. And um, it did a pretty good job up here. As you guys can see, this is just with the, uh, the trimmers by itself, the bevel trimmers. And he gave me a nice little line up here. It did a decent job over here. I am struggling a little bit um, with this side because I did raise up my line um, a little while ago. And um, I'm trying to get these, these little bad spots right here to fill in more without dropping the line down again. So um, this side is more of a struggle, but it did a pretty decent job um, just using the trimmers itself without using the uh, straight razor, all right? And then as far as the mustache, it gave me like a nice little line up here and um, did a nice little cleanup. The only problem I had was down up under here to where I had to readjust the, uh, the little dial because with the blades being so close together, it was a little too sharp. So I had to um, push back the dial a little bit just to kind of drop down the uh, the blade so it won't be so close together. And um, I was able to clean all this up with no problem. As far as the head, um, it did a pretty good job of shaving down the head, just like my GTXs. But for what it is being a wireless clipper, trimmer, um, it did a pretty decent job, you know? A pretty decent job. And when it comes to comparing the bevel trimmers to something like the Annie's GTXs, man, um, the first thing I have to say is that they are both gonna give you a nice, clean, sharp, line as you guys can see this is just with using the trimmers no straight razor at all just with the trimmers all right now when it comes to the sound as you guys can hear compared to this these are a little louder all right but it's not a big distraction or anything they're just a little louder than the andes now the other thing is that with these, these tend to get a little hot um, where I have to spray them down with some cool care. These didn't really get too hot with me at all, all right? Um, I was able to just continue doing what I was doing without spraying these down at all to where I didn't really feel it heat up um, to where they got uncomfortable to hold. But other than that, man, they both gave me a nice, clean cut. Now the biggest difference and the biggest difference between the two is that this is 160 on Amazon. This is $60 on Amazon. All right. Now, the best way for me to put this is that it's all about personal preference. Um, if you're looking for something, of course, that's wireless, you're going to get a, a four hours of continuous power, you know, once this thing is fully charged and um, the convenience of adjusting this thing on the fly. All right. Or you can just turn this little dial and adjust the blade to make it sharper or to make it um, not as sharp. Plus also a nice little stylish look that it has, but um, it's all about personal preference. You know, if you want something that's wireless, that you can just pull out, you know, hit your face real quick, or you want to line your kids up, you want to adjust that little, uh, adjust the blade on the fly without getting any tools, then this might be up your alley. And I think that's the biggest thing that you're paying for when it comes to something like this. Of course, it's going to give you a nice sharp line, probably won't have as much power as something like the Andes, but you are paying for convenience. Like I said, that's still gonna give you a nice sharp line and um, do a decent job whenever it comes to your shape ups, okay? But other than that, man, it was a great experience. You know, it did a good job on the beard. I still have to do some work as far as like doing my little blend. Um, but other than that, I'm pretty much done with this whole uh, shape up for today. But listen, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This is your boy, D. Hyde. I want you guys to have a wonderful, safe week, man. Take care of yourselves, stay blessed, and I'll holler at you guys next time. All right, peace out.